Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Vicky's Daily Stand Up. In today's video, I wanted to deep dive into going through some of the Udemy courses that might help you to make a decision on getting started with learning front end web development. There are so many Udemy courses on the internet and I want to say that I am absolutely not sponsored by Udemy. So let's dive into a few courses that I want to talk about. So the first one that I want to talk about is the Web Developer Bootcamp by Cal Steel. And he is one of my favorite instructors and his content is really easy to digest, to understand. I purchased this course back in 2018 and it was one of the most helpful courses I've ever taken. The last time that this course was updated was in 2020 February, so it was pretty recent. There's about 400 lectures and a dive into um, HTML, CSS, um, even talking about Bootstrap. Knowing a little bit about CSS framework can be really helpful It just really quickly help you to um, create a website with some sort of styling without worrying too much about custom CSS. Um, the cool thing about this course is also implemented the Flexbox layout um, part which is kind of rare to see in other bootcamp courses. I believe that he updated this last year so it's pretty relevant. Control flow, functions, array, objects, I would say they're really easy to follow and the DOM manipulation part was pretty awesome too. I think he has a few of different projects that you can work on in homework. They also touched a little bit about jQuery. Um, I know a lot of people have opinions about them, but it's there. It's available if, in case if you have to learn about jQuery for work or for whatever reasons. Um, a to-do list project, which is super important in my own opinions, I think that is a definition of um, really helping you to understand JavaScript. Overall, this course is pretty legit. Um, I also touch on um, Node.js, backend basics, um, some command line, and I love the fact that it does not touch anything on framework. Um, it really just giving you a overview of using HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. Um, if you are looking for courses that's diving into React or any other frameworks such as Angular or Vue, this is not a course for you. Otherwise, it's a pretty solid first course, especially considering the price was always, you know, less than $20. And I never ever pay for more than $10, so this is a pretty solid course. The second one that I want to dive into is this course called Build Responsive Real World Websites with HTML and CSS3. And it's one of the best seller courses. Uh, Jonas does a really good job of explaining concepts. Um, I believe that there are other translations for the subtitles as well. And this is a really, really fundamental course. So if you do not know anything about HTML and CSS at all, this is a awesome course to start. And another thing that I wanted to touch base with is um, there are some talks about optimizing and launching your website, um, I thought that was pretty sick. Um, this is something that is pretty niche and I do not see a lot of the web development bootcamp that covers this part of the material. So this part is it's pretty unique and I think that this course overall, if you are a beginner beginner and you literally just going through uh, free code cam right now and you're trying to find materials that you can watch this is a great source let's dive into another course which is also from Janus it's called advanced CSS and SAS um, it with Flexbox grid animation and more this is a course for people who want it to have more knowledge on CSS and I was able to finish at least 60% of this course. And Janice does a really good job with um, putting up this course. The last time that it was updated it was in December 20, 2019. It really deep dive into CSS. And I want to say if you are looking for a course to really 
game of your CSS techniques, your CSS skills, this is a absolutely great course to take. If you are happy with any kind of CSS framework such as Bootstrap or Materialize, um, I would not recommend this course because this is diving really deeper into how to work with CSS and how to build custom CSS. This is a great course and this really does help me a lot in my career. The next course that I wanted to talk about is Steven Grinders Know with React Full Stack Web Development course. This is a course that has talked about frameworks, especially the most popular framework React and Redux. The last time this course was updated is in February 2020, which is pretty, pretty recent. Um, it also comes with different languages as the subtitle. Um, in this course, you were able to learn a lot about React and JavaScript. So if you are already feeling familiar with JavaScript and you are okay with building a website with just HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript, this is a amazing course. Taking your steps into getting used to the framework. Some of the cool things that I wanna highlight about this course, obviously um, it does some sort of authentication with Google Auth which is pretty useful in my opinion. There's some really basic stuff with a separate front end server, running client and server. On the client side, I like the fact that it talks about a sync and away, um, which is pretty relevant nowadays. Um, client React setup, all these good stuff about React, um, specifically React router setup just how to use CSS in React, which is super important in my opinion. Overall, I would say this course is pretty solid if you wanted to get deeper into understanding React um, with the stack of Node.js, React, Redux, Express, and MongoDB. Another course that I stumble across is this course called the Complete JavaScript Course 2020, Build Real Projects. Um, for those of you who are still struggling and continuously struggling with JavaScript, especially manipulating the DOM, wanted to work on more exercise with JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript particularly, this course might actually help you. This course really dive into how JavaScript works. Um, it talks about DOM manipulations and events. It talks about JavaScript with objects and functions. Um, it also has the most relevant ES6 and ES5 syntax. Um, and it talks about a sing and away Ajax. The thing that I really love about it, it has some real um, projects and really simple app that you can build out which is super cool to follow along with um, so I hope this video is helpful I know it's a lot of information that I'm just like giving out so definitely hope that is helpful for you guys give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone else every week I'll be giving people opportunity to ask me a question and I would try to answer them as much and as many as possible. So if you're interested to get your questions being answered, um, go check out my Instagram page. If not, until next time, I'll see you here on YouTube and have an awesome, awesome, awesome week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.